Hey, it's Melanie, and today I have just a quick review for you of a product that I actually used for the very first time today, but it is such a, like, rave that, like, I had to record a video and I had to share it with you guys. So this review is for the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and, I'm going to butcher this, Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask, and this has African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil as well. So this is what it looks like. So that's what you're going to look for in the store. You can find this at Target. You can also find it at Ulta. In Ulta, it's going to be over in like the drugstore side. So you can use that $3.50 off coupon. And I want to say it retails for $12.99 at Ulta. So you can get it for like under $10 bucks with the $3.50 off coupon. So you guys, I used this for the first time today. And let me just show you what it looks like. It is a really thick, rich really rich cream when you first get it out of here it basically is going to feel like almost like you are scooping out like shea butter or something like that or like coconut butter it is thick and um it's almost so thick to where it's like hard to coat your hair with it so what i did is i shampooed my hair and then i sort of like kind of squeezed most of the water out of it in the shower and then I put this on there and I left it on for about, it was like eight to 10 minutes while I was like shaving my legs and, you know, like washing and all of that other stuff. <sighs> you guys, my hair feels so different after getting out of the shower and like letting it air dry. My hair feels so soft. I, I can't even tell you like how much differently my hair feels from before using this. Like, it is a literal world of difference. This moisturized my hair better than any other mask that I've ever tried. Like, it really is that good. Um, so this, um, what I really like about the um, Shea Moisture brand is that they're obviously cruelty-free. Otherwise, I wouldn't, you know, purchase products for them. But um, they also don't contain any sulfates, parabens, phthalates, paraffins, um, gluten. There's no mineral oil. There's no, like, synthetic fragrances in any of their things. Um, and there's no synthetic colors. So this is... Um, I don't want to say it's like a 100% natural product, but they do use a lot of natural ingredients. And um, they also, 10% um, of the proceeds go back um, to fighting poverty. So I really like that they're also a socially conscious company. But, um, you know, for those of you that care about stuff like that, I do. So I just thought I would mention it. But um, this, so this contains the Manuka honey. And let me just tell you quickly what the kind of the three main ingredients in here are supposed to do. So the Manuka honey is supposed to be an anti-inflammatory that soothes the scalp. So um, it basically helps create a moisture barrier on your scalp. Um, the Mephora oil, if I'm saying that correctly, has high levels of beneficial oleic acid, which helps replenish oils stripped from hair. That's a big thing for me because, as you guys know, in order to go gray, I had to have my hair bleached, and she had to bleach it for, like, an extended period of time to get all of that stubborn, like, blonde out of it. Um, so it really stressed my hair, and my hair was feeling super, super dry, super, like, just damaged. Um, and I think that this Mephora oil, whatever it is, I don't know what the plant looks like, but it's a freaking miracle. Like, it just, my hair just looks so much better today. And then the African rock fig contains the antioxidant vitamin C, which is supposed to help keep hair looking vibrant. And I do have to say that, like my hair, it looks a lot shinier today than it does on most days. Sorry, I just keep looking in the mirror because I'm just like, and I just keep wanting to touch my hair because it feels, my hair feels like my three-year-old daughter's hair. Like obviously her hair has never been processed like mine has. <laughs> so um, her hair just feels like baby hair, essentially. And um, it feels exactly the same. Now, to boot, this has an amazing fragrance, you guys. It's really, it's a light fragrance. It's almost like a light floral honey fragrance. It smells really good. I am going to tell you, though, um, when you coat your hair with this in the shower and then you comb through with kind of a wide toothed comb to distribute the product, um, it's it's really going to take you a while to rinse this out because it's extremely thick. I cannot stress that enough. 
I obviously put a decent amount in my hair because I really wanted my hair coated, like every single strand coated. And um, it took me a good like two minutes to like get everything rinsed out, but it rinsed clean. I don't feel like my hair is weighed down at all. Um, and my hair just feels so good, you guys. If you are someone who has over-processed hair or hair that is just really coarse or unruly I would really recommend finding this and giving it a try um, it's really affordable it smells like a million bucks and it just works like a freaking miracle so um, the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask gets like if I could give it more thumbs up like I would I only have two thumbs I would give it like 150 thumbs up it's that great you guys so go find this this is again what it looks like and um, let me know if you try it. It is absolutely fantastic, and um, I just can't say enough good things about it. I can't wait to see what future uses um, continue to do for my hair. I just, I'm, I'm madly in love. I want to go buy it in bulk. So um, hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below, and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.